Just about every day, I run about three miles to the gym so I can jog on the treadmill. Now, the only problem with that is by the time that I get there, my legs are so destroyed and exhausted from all the running that I can barely make it through my workout. There's gotta be a better way! Okay, so it turns out that there actually is a better way. These are AI powered shoes that make you walk 250% faster. Here's some footage I found of them in action on a small YouTube channel. And as you can see, this guy's having no trouble getting to the gym. These would definitely make my life a lot easier. But of course, there's a catch. They're entirely sold out. And even if they weren't sold out, they're $1,300. So if I want an efficient way of traveling that doesn't ruin my workout, I'm gonna have to take this into my own hands. So I'm gonna build my own pair of shoes that not only makes me run faster, but eliminates my need to run entirely. Ladies and gentlemen, I think he's gonna this do it. This is unreal. I'm gonna build the fastest shoes in the world. So first things first, I'm gonna need some shoes. And then I'm gonna have to attach some wheels to the shoes. Well, lucky for me, I actually had a pair of shoes that would make this job a lot easier. Oh, and don't mind the missing shoelace holes. It's no big deal, but I've gone up a shoe size since eighth grade. And yeah, I've only grown like an inch since eighth grade, but I can do this. Still got it. Okay, so obviously these don't make running any easier. So I gotta attach more wheels to these things and figure out a way to motorize them. So first I needed a way to attach these wheels to the shoes. So I hit this piece of metal with a hammer a bunch of times. I think it helped. It did. It did help. Okay, now that I got some brackets on here, it's time to attach the wheels. All right, these are turning out to be like the sickest pair of Heelys I've ever seen, and they're probably gonna be really fast too. All right, these things look absolutely bonkers, and I, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess it's time to try them out. I, uh, I hope I don't die. Okay, these things are really fun. They're rolling around pretty good. They don't really make running easier. In fact, it's much harder, but wait till I get a motor on these bad boys. These things are crazy. Oh God, oh God. Woo. I just ate it over there. Got some gnarly road rash. Sick. Okay, so two things. These shoes still need a motor. And they also need brakes. Putting a motor and brakes on a pair of shoes? That was not going to be an easy feat. And for six solid seconds, I was convinced that it was impossible. Until I remembered that I know something that has a powerful motor and brakes. Jacob Toretto's Mustang from Fast and Furious. This beast had over 500 horsepower. In my cars? Well, they had a picture of a horse on it. But regardless, they ripped. And they most definitely have the type of speed that I was looking for. Are you sure this is gonna work? Of course it's gonna work. Okay, ready? Ready? ready. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, I got one more idea. All right, let's do this. There I was with two broken Jacob Toretto Mustangs from the Fast and Furious. And the only thing that was furious was me because I spent so much time on building these shoes and I didn't even have a motor. And then it hit me. My electric scooter. scooter. It was built out of trash and it was insanely fast. And the best part is, it was all run off of this drill that I rewired to be a motor. So if I can make a drill power a pair of shoes, that would be insane. It's honestly quite simple. I put a wheel on the drill, then I put the drill on the shoe, then I'm flying down the road at record high speeds on my way to the gym. The only problem is, there really isn't anywhere to attach this drill to the shoe. So unfortunately, before I start rewiring drill motors, I'm gonna need to build a bigger pair of shoes that can accommodate this thing. At this point, it had been two days since I've been to the gym because I've been building these shoes the whole time, which was coming along pretty good. I just needed some wheels. How about these? Oh, yeah. These wheels were literally perfect for what I was trying to do. The only problem was is that I only had enough for the back wheels. These aren't going to get me to the gym. So I needed something like these. Super mega awesome. Once I got the wheels on there, I was on the right track to having some really fast shoes. Now that I had a new set of wheels, it was finally time to try these things out. And I think that, oh boy, okay, this isn't good. Oh God, oh God, oh boy. Well, these work just fine, but considering I didn't put brakes on yet, I think I'm gonna be here a while. It's 
so hot and I don't think I'm gonna be stopping anytime soon. You look thirsty, you want a glass of water? No thanks. You see, I don't need a glass of boring water. I don't drink glasses of boring water. I drink Air Up, which turns boring water into flavored water, making it taste like fruits and berries. You see, our sponsor Air Up has this crazy cool bottle that makes regular water taste amazing without using sweeteners or additives. It's literally just plain water. So how does that work? Scent-based taste. You ever smell something so bad you can taste it? Well, that's kind of what this bottle does, but in a good way. You just fill the bottle with regular water water, then take one of the 15 different flavors of scent pods and stick it on the nozzle. Pull up on the pod to activate it, because if it's in the down position, you're just drinking plain water. That delicious water you're tasting, you're actually just smelling. Dude, that is so cool. But don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. Ah, you tried to smell it, didn't you? Yeah, you did. All right, my roommate's never had this before, so I'm going to have him try it right now. Yo, dude, try this. That tastes amazing. Take the cap off and try again. That's just regular water. Well, I mean, it smells and tastes so good that I totally forgot that I was rolling down the road with no way of stopping. Click the link in the description and use discount code Jake20 to get 20% off your Air Up bottle today. Yes! Finally! Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! Okay, well, now that I know that these work, it's time for the fun part. And I mean that entirely sarcastically. This is not the fun part. I gotta get this drill positioned right here so I can move the back wheel. But first, I gotta rewire this so I can control it with my hand. This was about to be really stressful and not fun. Now, like, yeah, I know how to do it. I know what I'm doing. But it's super tedious and it takes forever. Not to mention I have to move the camera around like 500 times. But yeah, eventually I figured it out and it was fine. Check this out. Ready? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it was super cool until I remembered I had to order a second drill and do this all over again. to arrive, I'm gonna start mounting this one on here. So I mounted the first drill on there and it worked great, which was sick. And then the second drill came in the mail, which was sick. And then I had to rewire the second drill, which was not sick. But then once it was done and they both worked great, that was sick again. Dude, those are sick. Can I try? Dude, no way. Why not? Remember what happened last time? So how do you do these things? You just go. What do you mean you just go? I don't know, you just go. Jake, Jake. Socks, you're Jake, fine. Jake. Well, it was time to ride these things to the gym. And to my surprise, these things were actually not that bad. That's pretty cool, but it's not a race. It's sick, right? It's good, it's okay. The build things. Go faster than you. Pretty good was an understatement. These things were incredible. And I was flying through town and I got about halfway to the gym and then this happened. Well, I'm not going to the gym today. Man, this stinks. I haven't gotten exercise in days because I've been trying to figure this out and I'm fresh out of ideas. Dude, I'm at a loss. I've tried everything I could think of. Well, those shoes that we were looking at online were powered by AI. Maybe we could try that. Yeah, they were powered by AI. That's probably what I've been missing this whole time. But I didn't know how to make an AI powered shoe. So I went to the only source of AI power that I know and I asked it to give me its best idea. Yo, we got one! No way! Okay, he needs a way to motorize his shoes. Lawnmowers? Rockets. Nuclear energy. A car motor. How about just like an electric skateboard motor? Yeah. Yep, that's a great idea. This was gonna change everything. This was gonna get me to the gym, and this was gonna make me run faster. Oh, hold up a sec, check out this kick. Oh, sick, right? So yeah, this was gonna get me to the gym, and I was gonna run faster than anyone in the world. Okay, now that I got two electric skateboard kits, it's time to turn them into shoes. It's gonna be insane. So basically the plan here is to create platforms that I can connect the batteries and wheels to. Then I just make a way for my feet to hook into them so I can wear them like shoes. All right, we got one down, one to go. And just in case you were like, whoa, Jake, that's a really cool shirt. Where'd you get that? Well, 
you can get your own shirt and support the channel by going to shop.jakecarlini.com. Not only are these extremely comfortable, but they're also the coolest shirt that you'll ever own. Ever since I started wearing this shirt, my basketball skills have increased by 12. And ever since I started wearing it, my parents have loved me more. There's no telling what can happen, but you're just gonna have to get one for yourself, and who knows, maybe you'll become president someday. Well, these things were finally done, and I was ready to go faster than any man has ever gone before. But more importantly, I was just ready to get to the gym and get through a workout. The very next day, I wore the same shirt, but in blue, because we have it in blue. But I was ready to get to the gym faster and more efficiently than I have ever gone before. Now these things were insane. They were doing all the running for me and I was just standing there effortlessly while I'm flying down the road at probably like 15, 20 miles an hour. The point is I was cruising super fast all the way across town and my legs weren't tired at all. Not to mention I looked super cool. And the best part is I got all the way to the gym and I made it through my workout without breaking a sweat. Wait. 